This is SwiftCat. This video is all about Watch OS app. This is my first video of Watch OS. Just an introduction on Watch OS application. In upcoming episodes, we will try to make bigger Watch OS app like weather API related. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, recommend to subscribe it for more videos on Watch and Mac OS. Let's start doing it. First of all, I'm going to search for my Xcode. I'm opening the Xcode and I'm going to create a new Xcode project. And you can see here there's a template you can choose for this is of iOS, Watch OS, TV OS, Mac OS, cross platform. So I'm going to select here Watch OS. And you can either select a Watch OS with Watch App, but I'm choosing here Watch App. Click Next. Here I'm going to name the product as Hello Watch App. And uh, I'm make sure that you have the language with Swift. I'm not going to use Objective-C and the user interface will be of Storyboard. I'm not going to use Swift UI as well. And make sure that you uncheck this because we are not going to check uh, these uh, interface scenes at the moment. Click next and create the project in your project folder. Here, if you have experience in iOS mobile app, you can find here main.storyboard and vcondor.swift file. But there is a difference in name, but the concepts are similar like an iOS application. So let's head over to user is interface.storyboard and you can find here a main.storyboard like a main.storyboard a view controller instead we are using here interface controller so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click here up and the object library i'm going to select an label over here and uh, place it over here and uh, let's make much more space here and i'm going to name it as hello watch app I'm going to align in the middle okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here a separator over here which is for separating this uh, label so I'm dragging it over here inside this uh, interface controller and then what I'm going to do is next I'm going to select which is for a date and I'm just dragging it over here beneath the separator let's make more space and uh, align it in the middle that's it and uh, we will add one more separator over here and uh, we'll drag it over here and the next is I'm going to drag over a image so I'm going to drag a image over here let's make much more bigger and uh, let's head over to the assets here you can drag and drop some kind of images or whatever you like and it's similar concept like an iOS application so I'm going to use here a image which is for dragging it over here you can you can track any kind of image from your side doesn't matter we are just going through the basic concepts and then I'm going to back to the interface or storyboard. I'm going to click here and uh, going to select the image which I dropped, dropped over here. And uh, let's say like aspect fit, simple. And that's all. And what I'm going to do is the, here we need to check a couple of things is we can go for general sign in capabilities and check for the certificate, all these stuffs. But if you're running in a simulator, you don't really require it. And, uh, but another thing is if you go for this uh, to run in a simulator you can find here watch our simulators if you doesn't have so you can add this here you can find the options to create and to pair the simulators if you click here you can pair a watch simulator you can pair it over here by giving a name and you can also do alternative alternatively by clicking the plus button over here and search for a device which is of uh, watch OS kind which is watch app which is of uh, you can select the series whatever you like you can name it and click next and create the simulator with watch OS all right so with that you can run it here I already have this uh, watch OS selected so I'm just uh, going to run here with the watch OS and another method is you can if you have pair with your real device if you have pair with the watch with a real device you can also run it too so I'm going to run and check what we have done so far.
The builder succeed over here. Here I haven't used any single piece of code. I just tried to build with interface.storyboot. So this is just a basic introduction to WatchOS application. So in upcoming videos, we will try to make uh, bigger apps, which is mainly for a WatchOS application course, of course. And uh, that's all in this video. And it's a, just an introduction. So if you haven't subscribed my channel, subscribe it though for upcoming WatchOS application video tutorials. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching.